a very good afternoon to all of you i welcome you all to icf sunday webinar series and our speaker for today is nazir nasir based in uk and our topic for today is microsoft 365 or which was maybe earlier known as office 365 and all the participants that i see till now like they are all from the handbook for editors project that we are working on and it's good to have one of those participants present a session on microsoft teams microsoft calendar and the other applications related to microsoft because we are like we want to learn more about the apps that can help us collaborate for this project so over to you nazia for a brief intro about yourself and then you can start the session um hi everyone so i am nazia and uh, um i'm new to this forum uh, i joined just i think some a month ago and um, i am right now uh, living in the uk um and i work as a researcher at the university of leeds currently and i have done some uh, copy editing as a freelancer in the past one year um so i got interested in the wix idea of creating handbook so yes that's why i'm here and we are going to discuss uh, the microsoft uh, 365 um uh, package which is essentially something that i have been using extensively for the past 4 uh, months since i joined my job here and um, again i'm i'm also probably just a user not an expert in this so um, if there are some <laughs> misinformations or wrong uh, informations or, uh, that i might be cover like giving out so just correct me there and then uh, but i i have tried my best to understand this more for this webinar uh, so i can start sharing my screen whenever you say yeah nazi you can start okay okay um i'll share my screen rather than yeah uh so um there was a mistake in the uh, topic that i had sent so i have corrected it it's basically microsoft 365 which again as we were said it's it was formerly known as office 365 and uh, so uh, basically microsoft 365 is a is a is a package offered from microsoft which is a basically a subscription service so instead of buying it one time it's a subscription service monthly or annually whatever you want it to be and uh, you don't need to buy once you are subscribed to this uh, package you don't need to buy a separate license for running microsoft office products such as word and powerpoint um uh so in this in the microsoft 365 in addition to your classical microsoft office a product such as word and um, excel and powerpoint you also get a lot of uh, on web based uh, support systems and also a lot of um, uh, software such as outlook which can manage your emails and calendars and microsoft teams which is basically used for conducting meetings or collaborating on projects and um, i'm also sharing like a link here uh, uh, which is the microsoft 365 youtube channel which has a lot of um, good videos on uh, the whole package itself um so uh, what is the difference between like microsoft office purchase which many of us are familiar with and also now the microsoft 365 subscription so when you purchase a new laptop uh, you normally go in to purchase a uh, microsoft office that was the practice before but now you can actually go in for a subscription rather than a one time purchase where you not only get all the word excel and um, the regular apps uh, which you work offline you also get a lot of online support and a lot of other uh, collaborative um, applications in the um, subscription again the subscriptions are of different uh, categories and the more expensive the more support systems you get um so 
um i have tried to divide my uh, presentation into various uh, topics and uh, today in the morning there was a confusion regarding um how one can find their microsoft account um uh, the email id through which your uh, microsoft is connected with and then the rest i will go one by one um so first of course you have to know whether you do have a microsoft account and i'm sure most of us and you know, all of us have one account so how do you find this account the easiest way to find this account is when you open your word you uh, have an account um, on the left again i have windows 10 so all my presentation is with regards to windows 10 i'm sure the other versions are also similarly uh, made up so you can look for the account settings in your microsoft word and then that would eventually give you a window like this if you click on it which gives you the email id to which your account is connected so this is an email id which will be required for a lot of web based uh, support system or for logging on to other applications and essentially creating an integrated support system for uh, collaborative work so it's best to obviously log in to all your microsoft uh, 365 related applications through one email id so that they can integrate with each other um so for example um uh, i i have a subscription uh, product um right now which is basically a personal product where uh, one family shares uh, like uh, uh, five of us share one subscription which is an annual subscription in rupees i think so it's about 5 to 6000 rupees per annum and it supports a lot of um, um a lot of products which are used for a uh, home based uh, work um but also um because i'm now connected to the university here i also have um another account now which supports many more applications for example it supports the microsoft teams uh, premium version where you can do a lot more things with teams uh, as compared to teams free version but nonetheless even if you do not have a subscription of this you can uh, continue using your word through the one time purchase you already made and you can use the rest of the applications uh, in their free form or uh, um, or the web versions so um so again now um there was also some confusion of regarding um, how to log in microsoft uh, office or um, basically so again once you have identified where your what your email id is you can always go on to this e um to this link and click to install office in case you don't have the latest in office uh, installed on your computer um uh, this will not uh, this should not uh, interfere with your current office uh, office license that you have it will just update it uh, to the latest license and um uh, so you will have to log in using the email id that i just showed you how to figure out and then you will have all the different devices your um email has been used to sign in so i have a lot of devices which have been signed in through the same email and i can essentially move around easily between my devices without bothering to take up backups and all because i have everything backed up on uh, my cloud my one drive service uh, again uh, all the microsoft 365 apps there are a lot of apps and where do we find these apps so again you go on to your start button you can you have a very uh, you have a quick access through uh, the little tiny icons you can see here or you can actually click on office uh, and then you can uh, you have a series of apps that are available they may not be available to you um, in the premium version if you don't have a subscription but you can always access their free versions or web versions um so uh, the first app i would be discussing three apps in details uh, one is the first one is the onedrive app so you can say it's the it's similar to the google drive or the dropbox that you might be familiar with and you can basically upload all your documents in this and this integrates very well with your current um, uh, windows that you have uh, so basically again this can be found as this icon or through the office app and 
<clears throat> if you are if you have set up your laptop right at the beginning of the setup you would be you would have been asked to enter your microsoft account which would be uh, probably which would be the account again which you can access through your word document and um, in the latest windows format you all you have the one drive pre installed for you so basically all your documents and all you can directly start saving in one drive like we used to save in the c drive or the d drive previously and uh, then you don't need to really do a backup of all your stuff you can uh, well, if your computer is connected to the internet um it automatically backs up um or you can just click the save button and it can back up uh, online and it will show you whether it is connected to the internet or not um again uh, so uh, these are the for example this is my one drive and i have the documents my desktop and pictures on the one drive and um if you can see these are the statuses if the if there is a cloud it means that your thing has been backed up online if there is this little um, arrow sy symbol it means that it is in the process of being backed up and uh, you might have want to wait until this turns into a cloud to ensure that everything has been backed up online um now using one drive so the desktop version is something which is pre installed now most on most of the latest uh, windows that we get um you can also suppose if you are using another computer and um, somebody else already has um, the one drive opened in their account you can always go online uh through the link that i had given earlier there are options of going to one drive from there you can sign in and you can access your own uh, one drive which you have in your personal laptop or desktop through the online version so basically you are carrying your work anywhere you are going so you don't need really really need to now carry your laptops if you have access to computers um where the uh, at the place where you are going um now the next tab that i will be discussing is teams so teams is essentially like something like zoom or like or like slack or even whatsapp you can say to a certain extent um this uh, teams is um, a relatively new app for many of us because it i also used it for the first time four months ago i wasn't aware of it before that um again it has the free version which is um, accessible to all even if you don't have a subscription and um then of course you have the premium version um i i tried to find out the differences between the two because i am i do have access to the premium version and uh, there were a few um, um of course there were a few features which were not there uh, in the free version but i think so we can always like uh, work around it uh, without bothering to upgrade to the premium version so again uh, how to access it go to office you will find in the latest windows 10 you will find this little symbol here which you can use to access it and so again teams has the desktop version as the well as the online version um so the desktop version and online version i found them to be very similar and um Uh, of course uh, sometimes it might be installed on your computer or you might have to install this application on your computer or if you're not into installing a lot of applications on your computer you can always access through the web which is equally smooth i do not find it very different from each other um so i this was like a kind of um um small test that i did while trying to create for example an icf book writing team and uh, now this icf book writing team will uh, will have a link for example if i own this team i can authorize other people also to own it i can send the link to invite people to join this team um similar is with the uh, um this web version i will be doing a live demo of this so i will maybe talk on this later on and if i will be sharing this um uh presentation with you all you can always go on to these links to uh which 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 are really good videos on how to uh, work with teams um now the third app um uh, application that i want to discuss is the outlook so what uh, what all does outlook help you with 
So basically, it helps you collate with the emails that you have. So if suppose you have a Gmail account, you have a Yahoo account, and you have maybe um, an Outlook account directly. So you can actually have like a single inbox for all of them. You can individually view them. You can view all the inboxes together, depending on how you want to use it. Um, again, you have the desktop version as well as the web version. Then you have the calendar. So nowadays we are very used to uh, using, I think, so Google calendars. Um, so Outlook also has its own calendar. Um, so again, you can integrate both your Google calendar as well as your Outlook calendar in one calendar, and you can see all your different uh, meetings or appointments on, on, on a single calendar. Then these are contacts. So essentially, if you give access to your Outlook, it can uh, read all your Gmail contacts and um, and all your um, Outlook contacts um, and like bring them together here. So this will include uh, details about the emails or details, even including details about the phone numbers if you uh, if they have it on this. Then you have the to do list, which is essentially a regular to do list. Nothing very great about it, but yes. Um, again, uh, you can access the um, uh, it through the office uh, through um, on um, on the start but, uh, button. Now you have two versions of this: the desktop version and the online version. For me personally, I found the desktop version much more easier to use. Um, uh, uh, in term, if I want to access all the emails in one inbox, for my desktop version, I was um, I could uh, sign into all my email accounts, but I could not get all my emails into in one inbox. There's a, there's a, I don't know, the, I found online many people are facing this issue. So I, if somebody can help resolve this issue, that's the best thing. Uh, so I have, I essentially use both of them uh, uh, because I have access to the premium version. So I don't face many issues uh, with the online versus the offline versions. But I think so if you're going to use the free version, there is a difference in the online and the offline versions. Now, uh, in terms of the calendar, I found um, the uh, calendar of the uh, online version better than this. So you will have to actually look between the desktop versions and the web versions. I'm sure there's a way out where you can actually have like both the versions working well, but I could not really figure it out so far. Uh, so um, uh, for example, like I have two accounts linked to this Outlook, which is my Gmail account and my work account. So this is, a, this is a useful application if you don't want to keep on going to different uh, windows and seeing wh where what all emails you have received. Uh, so again, these are just the issues and the glitches which I've talked about already. Uh, yeah, some of the, one of the issues while preparing for this, I found was that some of the emails can take a few minutes if you send them through OneDrive or through group sharing. And they have also landed in my spam folder for some odd reason. But maybe that was because I did not have my uh, because I was trying to do it between two email accounts. So I did not have one of the email accounts as a contact in the other email account. So you can, you, it may be worth looking into adding everybody to your contact list before you start using the, these applications. Um, again, the desktop and the web versions may differ between them. And sometimes the integration with third app party apps is not that great. So for example, in Teams, they say that you can actually conduct Zoom meetings directly from Teams. But I could not do that. I could not connect directly through Zoom. Yes, I can share links to uh, Zoom meetings on Teams, but I cannot directly log in through Teams. Again, if somebody can oh, like have a way around this glitch, uh, it would be the best thing. Uh, so this is the end of my slide show. Um, I want to now start off with maybe giving a live demo of um, let's say um, the Teams app, I think. So the Teams app is the one which might be uh, least known to most of us. Uh, so um, I have not, I have uh, deliberately uninstalled the Teams app from my um, system right now so that I can go online and show how to access Teams. So this is the Microsoft uh, web page. Um, you can go to products. Um, 
you can go for uh, actually you can go to Microsoft 365 and for apps yes so if you see the apps you go to see all apps um and so you have the option of downloading the microsoft teams app but you can also uh, access teams directly so no see i think you'll have to uh, oh, I'll have share your screen your whatever the other screen oh ah, okay yeah. i'm not sharing it so far okay wait i'll i'll stop my share and i'll start resharing again i thought i was sharing my screen directly Uh, okay, yeah. Yes, you were sharing your screen. I could see it very clearly. I okay, yeah. Um, well, I'll try it again. Can you see a web page? Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. Can't see. Okay. No. okay yeah. Yes, so now it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I was just telling you about how you can access, for example, Teams, which is I think so one of the least known applications of the three I discussed. So you can go on to the Microsoft uh, online uh, web page and go to the products, and you can see all see all apps and services. You can go and download the Microsoft Teams app. I have not downloaded. I mean, I I uninstalled my app, so I can start downloading it and. Uh, so basically you sign in again um, because now you know your email id which you have used to like sign in through your to your word or one drive so you can always like just sign into your um uh, online account one query over here for yes. the gmail account uh, sorry yes. for signing in can you do you have to have a microsoft hotmail outlook account or can you use your oh. gmail account to sign um uh, uh no you don't need to have a uh, wait i'll just check this is my cuz i had to open a new microsoft no, you don't have to actually you don't have to um you will ha uh, you can use your gmail account for example all that i'm showing you i have a gmail account i don't have an outlook account as such that's what i noticed and this is why i was wondering yeah okay. so you can use essentially you can use yahoo you can use gmail you can use your work email which may be like gov.in whatever uh oh, so uh, yeah so okay but, thanks yeah so um now i'm i'm signing in through my gmail account to the microsoft teams okay we are having okay this uh, this is an issue if you are using like two accounts at a time and you want to just sign in through one uh so it's best if you can just use one i thought i was okay i'll i'll go through this maybe so this is microsoft edge which is um essentially uh, um another web browser so this might not have issues i guess because i normally use chrome and i have all my accounts signed in through chrome uh okay so my work account is creating issues because i want to sign out my work account i recently created an uh, for teams only i created uh, this uh, hotmail account and because of that now i'm fa facing problems every time yeah so you can you can problem. always go to your word see what email account you have that's used over there and using it's that. always the best to use a single email for all your microsoft applications yeah. because they will then integrate very seamlessly yeah i think i'll try that today and see if this my problem gets sorted yeah. thank you oh okay so my internet is a little slow right now let us close extra so yes um there are issues if you are using two email accounts um you start running into like uh, these issues of signing out of one and signing into another one um
wait, I'll just check if this is looking better here. Now, see on the other screen. Yeah. Uh, you had uh, two, three, four tabs, right? Um. um can yes. You so this is uh, no, no, the other screen. Yeah. This this was Microsoft Edge, and this is right now. Okay. Here, uh, you yeah, had yeah. two, two, three windows uh, thing. I saw. Okay. Now, if you yeah. had signed into one of these and uh, that had your Teams. Uh, ideas, yes. Then you may have a problem, right? So you have to come out of. Yeah. So that. actually, that's what I thought. I had signed out of all my uh, accounts for like my work accounts, but apparently that's not the. Uh, the uh, I mean that that's not the case. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to see if I can do. So the thing is, um, uh, so I was actually working. Uh, this is not my usual work computer. I work. I was. I came on this computer just to uninstall everything and like show everything from scratch. But I think so. I'll have to shift to my other uh, computer. Um, let's see. If I can just give one more try, uh, maybe we can. Uh, it was on this. So I, I I don't want to really uh, waste your time. I will log out of Zoom and I'll log in again through my other computer, which is just on my side. And uh, there I've been able to open it already. So I'll just be back in like a couple, in a minute or so. Sorry about this. Yeah, I will now share my screen. Okay. Um, yeah, so I am, this is the uh, online version of uh, Teams. So I just need to like log in and uh, this thing appears. Uh, so if you can see, I've already created like a channel just for uh, demonstration purpose, or you can also go on to um, uh, join or create a team. And uh, once you do that, because this creating team takes like a couple of minutes. So that's why I had already like created one. So you can create a team and uh, from scratch, or you can actually have a template to choose from. So I, I think so I choose to manage a project. You can have manage an event. So basically, these uh, templates are different in the sense that they will have different uh, layouts of channels. So each team will have different, you can say, groups within the entire team. So for example, if somebody is working only on the um, on the uh, editing part or the proofreading part, so they can have their own channel. Others don't need to join it. And they can uh, create their own uh, meetings over there. Uh, so I'll, I'll already show you what I have created so far. So you just need to like 
create it from scratch or create it using one of the templates and uh, give it a name uh, so for example i have created this channel it has uh, four different channels which is a general channel where you can do like your general chatting like what we do in whatsapp already you can have announcements for example you want to announce your deadlines or whatever then you have planning you have resources you can also have another channel you can add more channels to it for example if you want to add a channel meetings uh, or sunday meetings or something so you can just go on sunday meetings so here you will just need to for example add your link to your sunday uh, meeting so that people can easily like just go there and find um another advantage of uh, having this entire th thing is that for example you want to um um look for files so you can just go for files and see what all files have been uh, uploaded on uh, this team so right now there is no team uh, there is no file uploaded again um you can uh, for example i i am right now the owner of this channel so um i want to uh, create a folder which can be seen by all which people can contribute to so i will just go and upload a file uh which i have already created here so i have created this icf file this is also my one drive this i can also share through the one drive link i can also share it through um 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 uh, what you call it, the teams and it will yeah so you can oh sorry so i have chosen to uh, upload a folder instead yeah so i'll choose to upload this folder icf upload this will upload all your files from uh, icf which i don't have issues with so now um, this is like for example a common folder which all the members of the team can um, view so the team will have all the members then individually if you want to have like uh, for example there is a, a planning for example vivek and uh, amuru guraj for example they are the in planning committee and a couple of more people so they can just have their own group have their own files own folders which others don't need to access right so um this is how uh, the channels will help uh, organize different groups within a team and uh, now once we have uploaded the file you can uh, so i uh, the file has now been uploaded the icf file there's this test copy document which i had created so if you just open this it will open in the online version of uh, word yeah so this is the online version of word now you can choose to start editing here or you can choose to go and start editing in your uh, offline word document so um of course your offline desktop version has a, bit, a few more options than the web version uh, so for example if you want to edit you can go in the editing mode but if you want to um review it so you can add comments and suggest changes so it will then basically enable your track changes option so that your edits are now in the form of track changes rather than just you know uh, editing without track changes um uh an important um thing about this is you can actually collaborate with other people uh, live and edit this for example if i have shared this other people who are on the same team they can if i write suppose hello and i go okay so i i, I can actually show you this video if it shares um, this is a really nice video of showing how to work on a document together so uh we work on a file together so this is a uh, uh can you see the video i think it will be the video for you in the form of uh, I'm going to do it in the next video.
So, um, so uh, similar to this, you can um, also uh, now this ICF folder is now in my Teams. Uh, you can also go to OneDrive to access your uh, folder which you can share. So, for example, I have my OneDrive here. I'll go here. This will open my OneDrive in the uh, on uh, in the desktop version. Um, if I want to share uh, this folder to with others, I can just click share, and then I can uh, start typing the email IDs of all the people I want to share with. Or you can also like just copy the link and send it as an email. Uh, so um, this is the advantage of working with uh, like Microsoft 365 that you can easily integrate your desktop versions with your online versions and uh, so, uh, like exchange the documents. Um, another thing that I wanted to show was the Outlook office. I'm not sure which one this will open as. Okay, so again, I'm having this issue of uh, contradiction with my work uh, email. Um, okay, I can just maybe show you my work, how it works. So essentially, when you open your online Outlook account, uh, you can you you will find uh, all your inboxes in one. Uh, so here you would have um, like this one right now has only my work email account uh, open. You have your calendar integrated here. So if you go to calendar, <coughs> you can access all your events of the whole um, month. And again, uh, I have uh, like two of my calendars calendars integrated into one. So I have, for example, my Gmail account, which is my personal account and my work account. So I have like, for example, I have registered to this conference using my personal account, but and I have added it to my Google calendar. But this, can, this has also come up on my Outlook calendar because um, I have already integrated my Gmail account with the Outlook. Um, then uh, you can, um, if you want to create, for example, a meeting. Uh, so you can go to, um, for example, I want to create a meeting for the 6th of June with somebody. So I can, I, um, I can uh, add like test meeting and I can start inviting attendees again uh, based on your contacts. So right now, of course, these are all my work contacts who are coming up. But if you have your Gmail account signed in, you can have everything there. So you can basically uh, like put in all your um, details and you can, for example, you want to have a Zoom meeting. So you can put your Zoom um, link on this so that you don't have to find it anywhere else. And uh, um, save it um, like this. So then you will have like a, meet, a test meeting which turns up at 8 a.m. And you can, of course, it's same as how you manage a Google account, but um, Google Calendar. But the only benefit is that you can actually have like multiple calendars in one uh, place. Then um, as far as uh, 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 going on the one um, online OneDrive application is concerned,
so i mean so this is how it's supposed to come most of the time where you have an option of picking an account you want to access your microsoft uh, online uh, applications so i am i will be choosing my gmail account oh okay fine so this is my gmail account um, one drive which i also have on my computer right now so here as you can see i have created this icf folder which i have already uploaded on teams this is also available here uh, so this test copy i can um, share it with anybody uh, through using this link uh, sorry sharing and then share again i can start um, uh, typing email ids and um so this is uh, how you can start adding uh, email ids again we can also get a copy link um the advantage of sending uh, your uh, uh, your um, document through this method rather than copying the link and sending is that if if i share it using this particular kind of um i uh, I'm sorry, I'm not really good at explaining this. Um, if you send it through this, so I have, uh, I will get this in my uh, Gmail inbox, and you can send it to anybody, whether they are using uh, OneDrive or not. Uh, you don't really need to have. internet is so slow so yes as i was saying this is a technical glitch that your uh, the the files that you share through your um, one drive sometimes take some uh, like time to come in your inbox but i had already made like um, i had already sent it earlier on so i have for example uh this folder that i had shared myself uh, to through my other account and i can already like open this and uh, like work on it and i can uh, without having to go on my word document or uh, i can directly edit it here save it here and i don't need to upload anything so this is the advantage of using uh the microsoft 365 that you don't have to go back and forth uploading and downloading stuff uh are there any particular questions you would want me to answer because i'm clearly not very clear about a lot of things okay uh, maybe this teams feature again um, which i would so if suppose you want to create a meeting uh, so teams in the free version allows you to create a meeting for example this i have created and you can copy invite and send it to all in the premium version you can actually like uh, schedule a meeting directly as a message uh, which is okay which is an advantage but this you can always like just copy the invite and um, do it through that and also another advantage of using teams is that for example you you 
um, in the planning channel, there are three or four of you. You can just uh, create, uh, you can just like start your meeting right away without having to actually, um, you know, send invites. You can just say that, okay, you log into your Teams at this time and then you can start like a meeting already. Is there something that you would want me to specifically uh, clarify on this? I know it's a new system. It takes time and I'm not uh, the best at maybe. Yeah, Nazia Jyoti wanted to know how many email accounts can you link to Outlook at a time? I'm sorry. Uh, I can't really hear you. Uh, okay. Wait. Can you repeat again? I, I could not hear you. How many email accounts can be linked to Outlook at a time? Sorry, sorry. Yeah. How many email accounts can be linked to Outlook at a time? I am not sure how many, but I have gone up to um, as many as four at a time. So I'm not sure how many you can um, really link, but I don't think so. There should be a limit to it. The only issue is that when you're linking, there might be, uh, again, as I told you, glitches while using the web version versus the online version. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think so once you get the hang of it, it can become quite seamless. Okay, Nazia, I have two questions. Uh, one is... Um, um uh, i can get this uh, microsoft 365 uh, as a free download right uh you can uh you can uh access like for example teams and one drive through uh, yes you can do like a free version so i mean if i can show you so there are uh, many options to choose from um and one of them includes uh, using the free version where you can okay. do many things online and some of the things offline Okay, so yeah. if I get the free version of um, or, or a paid version for uh, Microsoft 365, I'll have to uninstall the version already running on my system. Um, I'm I'm not sure. Um, I mean, if you can uh, do, do you have an idea of which Windows you are using? Windows 10. Windows 10. So I don't think so. Then it should be an issue because Windows 10 is quite. Uh, good at you know seamlessly installing and installing overriding okay things. okay i don't okay. think so that should be an issue okay thank you if you get the paid version you can actually use it with your family members i think about five i think yeah yeah i think so up to six people you can use um and um I think so. It's because you then you don't need to buy a separate uh, package for your Word and Excel. You don't like one time purchase. You don't need to make it. It will be included as a part of your subscription. Every person gets one copy of each of these apps. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a very decent bargain. Very good if you can get it. Yeah, and that. also it's not uh, limited to one computer. For example, you as a person have like two different computers. One maybe you use at office when you use at home you can actually have like one email id on both and so essentially you're using it on two computers but it will be considered as one uh, subscription only rather than like between two people yeah anupam has given all the details oh okay Thanks, Nazia. Any more queries from the participants? When you talked about um, the team, the channels and all that, right? Mm -hmm. um, suppose you have four or five members. Uh, I mean, I saw you had different channels and then for each channel you have, you can have different set of files and storage and this and that, calendars, whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, can anybody be a member of this? or uh, whoever is using it okay will have to be a member of uh, teams so again um, so suppose if i create a teams uh, thing so again i just need to log in uh, through my microsoft uh, email which is which can be a gmail again and i can create a, uh, a team using the free version which is available to be to download as well as available to be used online 
and you even if you're sharing it with somebody and they don't have any idea of teams they just need to click on uh, the link and they will be directed to the web version where they will be given an option to download the uh, app but they can also continue using in the web without needing to download the app um so it's it's not that everybody needs to know how it works you can easily no, like do they have to become a do they have to have a microsoft account no, in the other word they don't okay. need to yeah no. Okay, so Microsoft 365 would work. Um, I mean, I would need a live internet connection for it, but yes. as long as I I'm working on it, right? Yes, I mean, if you're using the web version, if you're using the web version, right? No, no. Even for example, if you're using Outlook, uh, which is also a desktop version, but if you want to obviously get your emails updated. um you have to have internet connection again if you're using one drive even on the desktop and you want to make sure that all the time your um work is files are being backed up regularly uh-huh. because right. suppose your internet your computer crashes and also it's best if you can keep it uh, on an right. auto backup all the time right. so that right. you don't have to worry okay. uh, but of course you can work offline also you I mean, like you work uh, on word and excel you can work offline and connect to the internet and then allow it to back up uh, but of course you cannot use teams or you cannot use uh, the one drive web versions uh, right, or right. even outlook without internet yeah yeah okay thanks and again i would say uh, if you go to teams um, uh, there is the help uh, uh, button has a lot of good videos for introduction to the whole teams uh, software the free version as well as the premium version so you can always go through those short videos just to see how it works but anupam when you say that uh, you you need to be logged in to your microsoft account through which you bought your subscription for microsoft 365 so indirectly it means that that your you you will be logged in only if your net connection is there and if, no, if no, the no, net if no, the net no. connection so, is there then so once, then once then you are logged in once uh, once you are logged in uh, via your net connection even if you get disconnected you will be logged in and you will you can continue to work offline in microsoft word microsoft excel uh so that it is not dependent on um, being connected to the net only thing is if you want to use the online features for instance it has a reference feature it has a search feature microsoft word has a lot of features that uh, uh, you know extract information from uh, search engines those things will not work but otherwise uh, it it works i mean i have tested it i'm using it so i know it works is just that uh, you have to be logged in before uh, you lose internet connection okay thanks anupam for clarifying and no i mean uh, another thing if you have microsoft word or powerpoint already installed and suppose you are opening your laptop or laptop desktop for the first time after maybe a day or so you do not have internet connection you can still log in you don't need to even log in for the initial uh, uh, access to your word Uh, for uh, like after your computer has been completely shut down if that makes sense so word and uh, um, word excel and powerpoint will continue to be used like we used to use before all this uh, internet stuff um they will the only thing is again like anupam mentioned the search features will not work function and your automatic backup to one drive for example will not work otherwise you can easily log in to a computer without internet connection and not worry about logging in until as you need to use these features yeah thanks nazia anyone else wants to share their experience of using microsoft 365 maybe uh, anupam if you have used it and you can throw light on um, if you have been able to overcome the glitches in outlook uh, desktop versus the web version i'm not sure how much, how to what extent you have used it actually, actually he, he, uh, 
Outlook yeah. is uh, should I continue? Yeah, I just wanted to say that you joined late, so I'm not sure whether uh, you know of the three glitches that Nazi had mentioned, and if she can mention those again. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine because I don't use Outlook uh, via Microsoft 365, so I cannot shed light on that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I mean, I I missed uh, the uh, you know your coverage of Microsoft Teams, which was which is what I was more interested in, but I. Okay. Uh, uh, but my experience with other parts of uh, Microsoft 365 uh, has been quite uh, seamless and simple. Uh, I think there are some updates that have come in uh, that have, I have not installed yet or have not come to my computer yet. But uh, the, the biggest benefit is uh, uh, that you can work on multiple uh, computers. Like for instance, my wife and I, we share one account. Uh, so it, it, you know, the account is in my wife's name, so it shows my wife's name on top uh, when you log in. Uh, but that's not a problem. Uh, mm. But you have to remember that it by default the files get saved in one drive. So you have to uh, you know economize where you want to save. But the good thing is that with the family plan of uh, six hundred fifty odd rupees, you get six TB storage space, <coughs> which is more than what you would ever require. Uh, that's a lot of space and you can also use uh, that uh, plan with your mobile phone and you can install using the same uh, username ID you can uh, install all the Microsoft Series 65 apps on your mobile phone and also work from a mobile phone so that's a big benefit um, I guess you know teams I have not installed teams but I guess it will also work seamlessly uh, through that system so I'm quite satisfied the only thing uh, the reason why I went for I I pay for a monthly subscription instead of the annual subscription, which will be cheaper than uh, paying monthly. Uh, but the reason is because uh, when I took up this plan, I was not sure about my uh, long term uh, long term revenue in uh, flow. So I thought, let me go slow, uh, you know, in, in bits rather than uh, buying the whole chunk of it. Uh, and it 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 has worked fine for me till now. I think so Microsoft Teams, uh, honestly, you don't really need to uh, go for the premium version anyway, because you will have to pay a higher subscription fee for having the access to premium. Uh, Microsoft, uh, I mean, um, I think so even here, because it's my university, which is paying as an organization to Teams. So that's why I have the premium version. Otherwise, I would have uh, easily worked without the premium version um, and not lose on many options. Yes, Murugaraj. You're on mute. Unmute yourself. Thank you. So, Anupam, uh, so you said one one license can be used by six users, and uh, and we can have multiple devices. So you mean to say that? So for Murugaraj, there will be I I can uh, log into my mobile tab and uh, desktop. My son can log into his tab. Uh, and his laptop. So yeah, fifteen. Fifteen. You can have it literally fifteen. It's true. Absolutely true. Ah. So six. No, uh, it's extremely uh, economical. I would say. You know, if you look at yes. it as a family pack. I've been using it from two thousand eighteen or something. The day I quit my company, I've been using it. And uh, I mean, I, I never really it. looked at it as web version and uh, desktop version and and all that. I mean, and you have something on the phone between uh, uh, web version. Sorry, uh, have you tried the difference between web version of Word and uh, the desktop version? Oh. Yeah. I have, I have it. it. So how, how does it uh, differ? I mean, uh, I mean uh, the web version, uh, again, it has a few less features. Um, and then again, it's very dependent on your internet speed because, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, it tends to hang more. Um, and you, I mean, because I may or maybe also because we are so used to working on the desktop version. Um, it, uh, it and I think so. Even for using the desktop version, uh, you don't re necessarily have to have a subscription. Just keep on giving that irritating thing to renew your subscription, but you can essentially use a lot of Word still. Um, and as far as the subscription offers that you asked Anupam, so the thing is that what Anupam I think so was saying that if you have, for example, one email account, 
Mm-hmm. That email account can be used on multiple devices to log in as a single person subscription. Mm-hmm. But there is option also of a family subscription where you can use up to six email IDs to log in. So, for example, if you want to log in and your son wants to log in with his email ID and you with yours, you'll have to take the multi-family one rather than the single email ID one. I think so. There are two different subscription rates for both. I'm also letting my imagination go a little further. to figure out if we can set up a workflow management system using uh, office uh, 365 ideally it should be because it has a planner it has a storage space and uh, it has word yeah. so is it possible for us to set up a workflow management system so i mean um, exactly uh, what uh, because you, you there are other ap- applications as well for example you have a planner where you can have like you can put in all the stuff for example there's one manager of one particular group of people Mm-hmm. who's managing the project so they he will put like tasks that completed draft completed uh, proofreading and all and they, they can like you can tick it off or something so you do have all those apps there are many apps actually to explore uh, in this um i mean uh, if 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 you we seriously consider using it i can always like help set up the work plan uh, um but uh, uh, right now since i don't know how exactly people are going to plan their work so um, i think teams and contacts and uh, microsoft to do all these will be linked so yeah yeah i mean you can, uh, essentially once you have a plan in mind that okay this is how we want to like divide our teams or divide our work meetings and mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. so i think so it's uh, you we can set up like most of the things seamlessly Mm-hmm. but yes uh, every uh, it would be advisable that everybody has like one email account to log mm-hmm. into all your microsoft uh, applications i think there is constant uh, you know learning curve associated with uh, yeah. microsoft <laughs> Uh, yeah i mean uh, it again depends on what you get used to i mean mm-hmm. like example i've used slack uh, but not as extensively as i've used teams so mm-hmm. maybe we yeah, are slack is good uh, but the only advantage with teams is that it's with microsoft so yeah now of course it it, it, it has a built in uh, you know meeting system it has uh, planners it has all the yeah. office tools that we use um, yeah has anyone tried notion no try I- have one <laughs> so what 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 what's the what's the, what's the message between the, 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 the thing is the, the idea is you know it's called notion okay mm. you can have any notion about anything okay and you will you will it's a, it's a versatile thing it's a phenomenally versatile thing okay. mm-hmm. and there's nothing much you know i i, I think i suggest you just try I mean, there's a very long learning curve, but uh, you can use it for anything. <laughs> okay, you can use it as for anything actually. <laughs> You've tried that uh, notion, uh, Nazia? No, I have not. Yeah. What is it? No- notion, simply notion. What is it? Notion. It, it is. Uh, uh, what shall I say? You you can ha- use it for uh, typing. You can use it as Excel. You can use it as a oh, calendar. Oh, okay. So the all in use it as calendar. You. you can use it for task management you can i mean there's no limit to what you can um, you can conjure up anything with but the, the learning curve is there you have to learn a lot yeah my right. phenomenal um, flexibility is there and then so many videos on youtube for okay, that matter i think on. there is uh, um, sorry yeah tell me Like so for that matter, I also uh, came across Zoho Workplace. I think that is that also allows team collaborations and uh, uh, Zoho list of uh, uh, applications are really, really, really well designed. They're very quick and very fast. I've not used it very extensively, but I just came across it. I've also heard. I've never, I've never email used. account. But Notion, yeah. they say one I place for it. That's the tagline. One place. Actually, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, uh, advantage of Microsoft again uh, is that you have a lot of uh, support for mobile apps. For example, like I have my, uh, I don't know whether you can see my uh, screen. So you can see my calendar. Uh, so this is my uh, Outlook calendar. This is my Gmail. I have them separate just so that I can separate out uh, my personal and uh, professional commitments. then you have the outlook you have the teams which is just like a whatsapp you can just open and then you can select 
uh and so you, you see they are like um, a very good integration and there there is also a one note application which we use extensively because we are in research so we may have to make like everyday notes so you don't need to now have like a manual like a notebook to carry around you can just start because now most of us are based on like we have laptops on our side so just make notes online and create a notebook basically so i mean uh, microsoft i am not sure uh, the other applications that uh, you have mentioned they have uh, how good their support of the mobile application is actually the notion also has but you know i mean nothing to beat microsoft you know i've been using microsoft yeah, yeah. i i want to trade it for anything else <laughs> So thanks, Nazia. I think we will try it and then see. Mm -hmm. And if you have any specific questions, you can always like drop me. I mean, I'll I I can share my um, presentation also. It has some links, so if you want to go through that, you can do that as well. And also, you can ask me if I know the things. I can let you know. Thanks a lot, Nazia. It was a pleasure. Yes, Doctor Venkat. i have one curiosity you know why do you uh, muruga ji even you were asking you know why do you want a web version actually <laughs> what's the reason <laughs> no uh, i mean they okay. are sitting all the time on the computer <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> no, i i i am i am not really a fan of web version of uh, the ms word but as uh, nazia was taking us to the various features i was looking up the pricing plans and other things so the basic version that uh, is around 120 rupees or so per user Uh, obviously, I was looking at uh, you know the basic business version. Okay, so it it said one twenty five or one fifty rupees per user with uh, web version of uh, MS Word and Excel. So I was curious because as uh, you know, obviously my team is all editors. If they are going to use a desktop version and web version, what difference could it make? Uh, but I understood uh, so, from some but, reviews that it is not exactly the same. The web version is kind of you know uh, uh diminutive of uh, the uh, yeah a little downgraded but i wouldn't say too much i mean because we don't do a lot of uh, i mean most most of us just write right and or edit mm -hmm. so i think so those features yeah, i think it's probably you know my guess the way foreigners work okay west in the west whether it's uk or uh, the us i think they have a tendency to you know work in in groups and teams collaborate a yeah. lot right yeah. uh, we are kind of more of individuals and we try to form teams <laughs> Do something, right? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, here you have a lot of collaborations and all. Like, for example, like recently, um, um, I I understood the importance of the web version of Word. So I had I got a document from one of my friends. She was like, "Okay, can you just check it and see uh, if I? I mean, just for editing purposes." So I started editing on the web version. I did not download it and all. I started editing it, and I. left my laptop open and went uh, somewhere and then on whatsapp she goes like okay you just made this correction can you tell me what like the details of it so i mean i did not even have to upload the document she was able to see my live editing going on so this is an advantage that you can uh, live edit and the other person can view your edits live this is what we see in every thing it's there probably in slack in trello Uh, yeah maybe yeah, have able whatever you look at they have this uh, you know many people can work it at the same time simultaneously and then people will make a change and put a comment there explain what yeah, they want yeah. to yeah 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 so i mean i don't think we are anywhere near that in india right what do you think kind of pop no actually it also depends like our field my field specifically is a research field so even in india we work like on collaborative modes but yes when i was in india it would be uh, like all these technologies went so advanced it's more in the pandemic that all this has come up now yeah more yeah. so uh, we anyways as a community we are very collaborative so that's why we have to use this this stuff i know as a copy editing i mean when i do freelance yeah, copy editing i practically don't have come uh, like i don't interact with anybody except for like just email or the final upload and stuff yeah so uh, my my point of view about this is that uh, our work itself is very uh, uh, isolated in a way so that's why i don't think we use these tools so much but if we were a part of an organization or an association where collaboration is a necessity 
then i think we would uh, start yeah. using these tools yeah, the way okay. we are discussing about it right now but uh, if you really want to see how uh, collaborative tools are being used these days even in india and as uh, nazia said it's because of the pandemic you should see how school children are uh, doing the courses yeah. assignments projects totally online through collaborative tools and uh, what I, I i haven't seen but i've heard that uh, uh, there are companies who have uh, provided uh, uh, very specific school uh, school directed tools for children to work online to study online and to uh, collaborate online i think a lot of schools are using microsoft teams uh, to teach their mm -hmm. students yeah. um so i mean it all depends on what you are doing so i i, uh, I guess uh um, if if we start working on collaborative projects then we will also start uh, uh, uh using these tools i mean the whole discussion has come up because we are trying to uh, make a, a collaborative project mm. yeah that's true but for my son school i wouldn't have come across teams <laughs> mm -hmm. but for my son school i would have come across teams <laughs> so we were forced <laughs> to to explore teams as a you know as an online uh, classroom alternative so that, that's where uh, the first introduction to teams is about and i don't think microsoft ever thought that it will be adopted by schools more than offices <laughs> and i think they are reaping benefits of uh, this through schools more mm -hmm. but they generally have some very long term plans you know which are generally not apparent but once it hits the market then we see that that's how much soft has worked over the years as the situation also helped them no the you are we were all forced to go online for everything yeah okay so uh, i mean uh, the, the gorilla glasses as we call right for mobiles and uh, i i heard that you no know, it was it was uh, invented maybe around 40 50 years ago but the idea was uh, not being extensively used because there was not such use but with the you know explosion of mobile usage now it has become one of the most important technologies so the time has to come for the idea also <laughs> to blossom thanks nazia thanks murugraj thanks anubam thanks dr venkat and Thank thanks so uh, to all the other participants for attending the webinar and to nazia for or organizing and conducting it so we will check it out and discuss it further and next okay. week we will, next week we will have the interview series back and okay. our the person who will be interviewed is an icf member ambika arvin and ganesh will be talking to her about how to how she has established her writing and editing business Okay. and it will be either at 11 am in the morning or at 4 pm so we will fix the time and let you know thanks everyone have a nice day thank you thank you everyone thank you nazia